Well, in 2016, Tony Yoka won Olympic gold for France, training out of this very centre here, the Olympic Training Centre in Paris. Now, as a professional, he's trained by Virgil Hunter, and a man who shares a trainer with him is his training partner, Joshua Boazzi. Joshua, great to see you. I know you're out in Paris supporting Tony Yoka. I mean, it's a huge night for him on Saturday against Carlos Takam. Tell us the truth. What's he like? How's he feeling? Uh, trying to come back from his first professional defeat, which is not an easy task. It's not, Andy. You're right. But... Um as you know, if someone that you know lost in the last fight, he's going to work extremely hard in camp. I've seen Yoko this week. Um, he's looking good. He's looking a lot trimmer than I last. I saw him, I think, in December in the States. He's looking a lot trimmer. Um, looks very fit and he's sharp. So I think on Saturday he'll do a job. He's a genuine superstar out here, winning Olympic gold. He's got a huge profile. Does that bring extra pressure? Do you think? Of course it does. But I think we're all we're all always under pressure. But like you said, he's got, um, I would say, a unique pressure because everyone out here knows him um, and they support him and all eyes will be watching on Saturday night. It's twofold because Dan Aziz, obviously, we're here focusing on him. He's got a chance to win the vacant European light heavyweight title. You've sparred with him throughout this camp and you're great mates with him and you'll be there supporting him and helping him out in the dressing room as well. For sure, man. Um, I've known Dan, Dan for, for many years and there's a few light heavies that said, ah, I would never want to mix it up with. Um, but I think we're both at a point where we say, look, if the money's good, will fight, people will be entertained. It's boxing, it's, it's never personal with these guys and specifically with Dan and um, I'll be wishing them all the best on Saturday night. Is that a strange dynamic? Um, business and, and friends, they often don't mix, but you've had that conversation. I think you're yeah. at uh, WBA number one and he's at WBA number two. It's crazy, right? What's it gonna look like if the number one and number two are in the, are in the same change room? <laughs> it's mad, but um, I think for me, I'm good at putting certain things aside, but when I step in that ring, I almost know what time it is. And the opponents know what time it is as well, man. So um, for Saturday night, I'll be cheering and supporting. And I'll always be cheering and supporting anyone in my division. When you come up against, when you come up against me, then we know what time it is. But prior to that and after that, I'll be supporting anyone, man. Dan said in the build-up, you'd pay good money to see me and Joshua Boazzi spa. From what you've seen, is he ready to win this European title? Do you think he will win it? Of course he will, man. I think Dan's ready. And um, I think everyone and the whole nation is seeing how he's progressing on nicely. Um, he keeps getting better each fight. So I think... For me, I'm expecting him to win for sure. Thank you very much, Joshua. I'm not a stupid man. I'll let you get back to your training. I've pulled you away from the weights machine. Joshua Batsy, who's here, supporting not only Tony Yoka, but Dan Aziz, both in action on Saturday night.